Marvel Future Fighters. I've been wanting to make a video about the big QRL change to story mode for a while, and I was trying to save up enough uh, chests to do like a really big opening, but it's just taking too fucking long, and people are just going to forget that it exists. So I'm just going to make the video now. Basically, when you go to craft chests in story mode, they added a bunch of things. First of all, they added, obviously, the, the fragment convert, which is amazing. I did a separate thing on this when this came out. It was awesome. But then more recently, they added this craft chest option, which is even better. Now, it maxes out at 20, but still, it's pretty dope. And it also now gives you the chances. So now you can see the breakdown of exactly what you can get. And so you can go through and look and see, you know, if you're going to play the ultimate story mode um, dimensional clash, what are the chances? 0.0455% that you pull a CTP. And there's like whatever, how many CTPs. And you can see everything here. What's the chance of getting a type six, a stage six type enhancement? It's way higher than a CTP. So every time you pull a stage five or a stage, or even a stage six, of course, stage six uh, type enhancement ticket, uh, you, you know, it's, it's like 10 times better chance than a CTP. So yeah, it's pretty interesting to see that. And even the, even the advanced ticket is way, it's like nine times higher than getting a CTP. So yeah, by far the CTPs are the hardest thing to get here. Pretty straightforward. You can also see for the uh, future ends here, the, the, C, the, the P cards, right? And you can see um, how, how rare the P cards are. 0 0.0357% chance. Sorry, my nose was a G. So anyways, we're just going to crack open some chests and see what happens. That was, that was kind of, I wanted to highlight this, but there's really not that much to highlight. It, the, <laughs> I got to say too, the animation is really bad. It's just like, it just flashes that it's done. And then you, and then you just have to scroll through it. I, it Again, I've said this so many times, but the devs have uh, no, what do you call it, um, like wonderment? They have no idea how to sell gambling in this game because the gambling animations are so bad, right? For pretty much everything, the gambling animations in this game are, are dog tier. And you compare that to a game like Seven Deadly Sins, which has insanely cool gambling animations. And I know it sounds bad, but... It's nice, man. It's nice. Especially if people are going to be spending money. It's nice to give them a bit of a show for their money. Um, a lot of people can relate to that. But yeah, even even in so far, okay, look at this animation where it just like pops up, right? We'll do it again. We'll do it again here with another 20. It just it just like pops up. All of it, all of it, all at once. Just, just boom. It just pops up. What if instead of that, there was 20 lines and it went line by line? Boom, boom, boom. Like, you know when you have 20 chests in your, in your inventory and you press open all? And it goes boom, 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 one at a time. At least that has like some satisfying visual, like doom, 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 doom. This is so boring. Like I'll be really ha like for real. I'll be happy if I get a CTP, no doubt. Like I'm not complaining about the rewards themselves, but they really could have made this a more hype experience. And I feel like it just extends to other things, like opening CTPs in this game. Opening CTPs in this game, if you gamble CTPs, is the only thing that has that like doom, 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 like satisfying um, animation to it. When you gamble for um, other things, it's so bad. The, the animations are so bad. And they're either like really fast and there's no satisfact satisfying element to it. Or they're really slow, right? Like, for example, the artifact one. I'll just do a, a, a quick pull so you guys can see uh, what I mean. The artifact one, okay, has the most... Like, no one's going to sit through this animation, right? Where you go one by one and it's super slow. But they could do something, they could mix it up. See, this is just like they all drop at once. It's not fun. It's just not fun. Meanwhile, when you gamble for a CTP, and I'll show you what I mean, when you gamble for a CTP, it's actually fun. I don't want a CTP of destruction, but whatever. I'll do I'll do a gamble for a CTP of destruction. The card chest is the same, is the same makes the same mistake. The card chest just drops all the cards at once. But at least with the CTP, look, it's automatic. You don't have to press any buttons. And doom, 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 doom. They all drop. That's cool. At least that looks kind of cool, right? I mean, you could have like Iron Man in there cheering you on or like whatever. Like you could see a little animation where like, you know, he shoots some missiles and it like blows up a building and then all these boxes start falling out of the building. Um, and then the boxes open up and then those are like what's inside, right? Whether it's a CTP or not. Bro, there's so many things they could do, man. There's so many cool ass things they could do. But yeah, I've been, t I've been literally telling them for years, years that they need to update the animations for a gambling and they never have. So it's it's never going to happen here. Uh, but we got more. We got more to open. We haven't gotten we didn't get any any uh CTPs. Maybe maybe we get a P card or we get some OBs. No OBs. Wow, that's really cool. 
But yeah, the system's so good, man. I had to like I wanted to make a video about this. I wanted obviously to have like 10 minutes worth of openings. Hey, we got two OBs. Very nice. But I realized at one point there's no way. Like it's going to take me a year to save up enough cuz this goes so fast, right? If I don't talk about other things, if I don't show other things, if I don't go to other pages, I would literally need like a year's worth of materials. And it's like, why are you making a video about something a year after it comes out? It's kind of silly, right? A Q, especially like a QOL thing, a quality of life thing. Three Odin's Blessings. That's not bad. That's not bad. I actually made a mistake here. If you guys see, I have uh, zero of the two. I made a mistake when I was converting fragments and I accidentally converted um, from two into four when I meant to convert uh, from one into four. So I was trying to balance everything out. So I accidentally like screwed myself out of a few boxes. Another thing, I don't know how long this has been in the game. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure if this is a new QOL or an old quality of life thing, but the arrows here where you can just cycle through. Is this new? This is so good. I remember always having to back out like a little chump and back out again and then go in and then go in and then go in. Like it's six button presses versus one. This is so good, man. Oh, amazing. All right, let's craft these chests. Let's pull a P card and get the hell out of here. Let's go, baby. Uh, I mean, the, the, the mythic cards are nice, too. But, man, I wish this had more fanfare, you know? I wish this had more fanfare. So much so much, so much whimsy and fanfare missing from gambling in this game. Okay, we got some mythics. Another mythic, nice. Another mythic, nice. No, no P card. Okay. I shouldn't have eaten almonds before I started making this video, man. It's almonds in my teeth. Okay, one... No, nothing. Nope, nothing. All right. Yep. We also have this one. I, I'll i do a 10. I'll do a 20 of this. That's fine. I have way too many of these. I stopped playing this altogether. Um, I give this advice to a lot of people. Uh, just just stop. Just stop playing the... Uh, the uh, What is this one called? The Agent, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. one? I genuinely can't remember what it's called. The True Shield, yeah. So just stop. Once you have enough ISO, stop playing it. I have way too much ISO, and I saw a post... Um, I can't remember where it was. I think it was on Reddit where somebody was like, what do I do with my inventory? Um, what do I sell? And they, and they did this, right? They pressed this button to show the inventory and they had like 500 ISO. It's like, buddy, you don't need 500 fucking ISO. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I know you need eight ISO for each character, but you genuinely don't need that much ISO. And yeah, you're just screwing yourself over. Just convert, right? That, and that's basically what I've been doing every couple Every like week or two, I'll just come in here and I'll convert a bunch of um, random, you know, ISO. I, I, like at this point, I sell anything under six stars. I don't even keep the stuff under six stars. Genuinely, it all goes into the dumpster um, because you ju it's just it's just a lot easier now to get ISO, especially with that um, True Shield mission. Just play that True Shield mission and, and farm up those things. Um, but yeah, you should never be short on ISO. I mean, as a new player, of course. You'll eventually you'll be short on new play you'll be short on ISO as a new player for the first like six months, year, year and a half. Um, but after that, you'll start to hit a plateau where you're farming about as much as you need, and then from there you'll start to have a surplus. And then from there, you start converting that surplus into boost. And then once you have like two, three hundred boosts, you can start just selling everything that isn't uh, a five star. Uh, sorry, that isn't a six star. And I would even caution players against combining up ISO. It's a it's a huge money sink. It's a huge gold sink. It's a waste. I would only combine five star ISO into six star ISO, frankly. And and for the most part, I would I would focus on combining five star chaotic into six star if you have a good base like all attack HP. Like this one here is perfect. I'm gonna upgrade it. Oh man, this new up I, I you know what? This like a reverse quality of life thing is this shit. Holy this shit's bad. This new enhance all thing is so clunky. It's funny because I was talking about how they took away a bunch of button presses that we had to use. Now they added a bunch of button presses to this to this because before you could just press this and you could do um, like a relay enhance and it would just pop up and you would just press it. But now you have to go in and if you want to enhance, you have to go and press enhance. Then you have to go and press who you want to enhance. Then you have to press enhance all um, and then and then you get this pop up. But before. It was just quick enhance and you boom, you press on the ISO and it pops up this right away. So I don't know why they changed it. They made it more complicated. They also made the dimension mission collection here. When you collect item uh, rewards from here, they added an extra pop up to that. 
I can understand why they did that one because for the the, the epic quests, it asks you to um, do just like one uh, reward acquisition. So you can do that and then continue on with the epic quest and then come back and collect your, your next one later. So I kind of understand that. But then here, right, when you go to clear ticket, they, they added extra buttons. Why did they do this, bro? Why? It's just kind of annoying. This one I'm like the least annoyed with, probably. I'm most annoyed with the ISO one. I think it's really stupid. And I think that they just, I don't know, man. And not only that, but they haven't fixed the, the red dot issue on Otherworld Battle. This, this shit's never going to go away. Like, I don't know what's... Oh, it finally went away. Did they fix it? Or did, or is it something with my account? Can you guys chime in in the comments? Because I actually don't know if this went away for me for some reason or if they actually patched it out. Um, I haven't downloaded a patch in the last couple of days, so I'm, I'm inclined to think that this is just a bug on my... Like, a, a fortuitous bug on my end. But, yeah, this... this uh, Since the last update, since the last full update... This shit has had pink dots everywhere, like on the on the weekly and on the season. And then it means that there's always a dot on the battle pass up there. And they said that they, they literally said in the patch notes, we are removing, we are reducing the number of dots that are in the game to um, make it easier for players. But no, they've increased the number of dots. Now I have a bunch of characters that have dots on the type enhancement all the time. It's super annoying. Um, and then you also have characters like my Kate Bishop, for example, or even even Kang. Um, when you have an artifact, look at this. When you have a higher level artifact for a character, it tells you constantly 24-7. They're like, hey, you have a five star. Why don't you equip it? I don't want to equip it, dude. I know that it's there. But can you just can you just mark as red, please? Mark as red. I've, I've seen it. Stop showing it to me. But this shit's going to be here forever now. So it's like, it's so weird. I think maybe the translator screwed up translating the patch notes from Korean to English. They didn't mean to say we are reducing the number of dots. They meant to say we are increasing the number of dots because I've only seen the number of dots increase. I haven't really noticed at all the number of dots decreasing um, on, on content in the game. And it's uh, frankly, it's a little it's a little annoying. It's also a little like Skinner boxy where they're just trying to like, you know, psychologically uh, manipulate you into pressing buttons and, and, and spending your materials. Don't get baited into doing that shit. It's cringe. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what this video is, man. Hopefully, there's a sneak peek tonight. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, boys.